Greetings and salutation once again, fellow travelers on the wheel of life. Welcome back to another edition of As the Wheel Turns. Today, as you can see, I am on the Grom Mobile. We are still in West Virginia, which has led to many, many stories. But uh, I told a story on a previous video. It was, I call it my creation story. And it's not about me. But I'm going to tell that story again in case you didn't stick around for it in the other video. So, what I'm talking about is, is the creation story from the Bible, right? Well, you know, how God created the earth in seven days or seven millennia or whatever, right? 7,000 years, 700,000 years, who knows? And uh, he put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Now, when I was talking about my creation story before, what I was talking about was when Adam and Eve's time in the garden came to an end, he, uh, he told them to go out and dwell among the wild tribes or whatever, right? So that's what they did. What was the wild tribes? I used to, gr I used to drive my, my pastor up a freaking wall with these kind of questions because he'd say, you just got to have faith, Chris. And I was like, questions don't have anything to do with faith. I'm not questioning God. I question the Bible and all of that stuff, right? So now in my questions of the Bible, it's like this. They went out and dealt among the wild tribes, but, there, but so there was already people populating the earth when they got there. They weren't the first. Did God, like, have other genesis that he said, eh, this ain't working out, so I'm just going to forget about these folks over here, because remember, he was a kind of a hard God back then, right? All right, so he, he already, they already had people that was there, and so when they left the garden, they could mate freely amongst these other peoples. Now, back to what I said. Where did the other peoples come from? All right, we had the out of Africa theory that scientists, you know, they're always revising something. So anything that they call a theory is not proven science fact. Even if they call it proven science fact today, that don't mean a damn thing because in 20 years they changed their mind. Now, what they have been talking about recently is that life, and this was my theory, always so y'all y'all here 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 at first here it was my theory first i've always said that that life was evolving on our planet all over our planet at the same time and if we use the evolutionary bullcrap that even darwin didn't believe later in life that it, uh, there is some truth in it and apparently men will screw anything You've seen that at 2 o'clock in the morning at the bar. <laughs> that we're all mixed up in, in the hominoid scale. Alright, so we had, we had out of Africa. We had Neanderthal, which they call an earlier version of out of Africa. Which I don't believe at all. Because true, true um, De Neanderthal DNA has no, no, no African in it. So that means that, that those Neanderthals, and I consider them human, was evolving in the, out of, out of a, from some white freckled ape somewhere, right? Just my opinion, all right? Now we have the Donovans, uh, and they were first discovered, well, they were discovered in the 1900s, but they didn't have a name for them or anything. But then um, they've since discovered they're all over Asia, and they're up through well they're all over Europe actually and they was they was mating with Neanderthal also and if you track human today's human DNA they find that we have Donovan in us and that we have Neanderthal in us and they also have Lucy from out of Africa I find that very interesting that they're so busy wanting to put labels on things that they just say this is the way it is. It's like Pluto. Remember when Pluto was a planet when you was a little kid? And for hundreds of years before Pluto was a planet. And then they decided Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. It's just a big asteroid. All right. That, that's cool. That's like a reclassification. I don't agree with it. Pluto is a planet in my opinion. 
but by changing it to an asteroid the following generation will think that it's an asteroid and then the next generation will think it's an asteroid and then the next generation will think it's always been an asteroid that's just how it works when you're changing history and everything else but it makes me I just think I'm always thinking about all kinds of crazy stuff or what other people might think is crazy stuff I think I've already been up that road over there yes I did it was a dead end and so it's just something to think about I'm not trying to tell you any way what is what I'm only saying that they're open your eyes to the possibilities around you now if that affects your faith then don't think about it but if it just opens up your eyes and wonder at the world and how it came about and everything else then congratulations welcome to the club of you don't know what the hell's going on or anything else you just want to know more and it, since we can't get out and dig up rocks because we're busy working and we don't have government grants to do these things and we're not exactly scientists although you know I'm pretty sure you could pick up a microscope and read a little bit and learn how to to look at DNA now you may not have the sophisticated machinery to do all this stuff I'm sure you don't I certainly don't but I'm just saying the possibility is there if someone ever comes along that has the capability to do this kind of stuff and the, their own money imagine the things that they could say if they're not beholden to a government for a grant because the government creates the narrative and the government is untrustworthy remember the word government or the word mafia in Italian is, 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 a deriv is derived from our word government or vice versa but anyway government means mafia which is a control substance it's like a you know not a controlled substance like a drug but a, a way of controlling the people to their narrative just like so much of religion was a way of controlling people and their thought process in a narrative although if you look at way back at, at like you know what the Jews were supposed to eat and not what they were supposed to eat and everything that was a safety issue you know I don't you know, it's like no that wasn't mandated by God it was a safety issue as far as eating pork would kill you back then because they had so many diseases they didn't know to cook it to 180 degrees they didn't know not to feed it a bunch of different stuff that they you know if that slop or whatever right hi cows I love cows cows are a friendly species sometimes oh look it's a bus there are kids in the world hello little kitties and in the hills have eye country I've never had the opportunity to ride in West Virginia and I, I find it quite exhilarating I do it is beautiful that's a nice little house it's well maintained they're not eating people there's a nice big house down there they're not eating people either nope this is just a beautiful country it's freaking a beautiful oh that's a nice chicken house oh not the house but they, they had a whole yard fenced off and a big chicken coop made 10 by 12 I bet they got a lot of chickens but I only seen three maybe they're waiting for them to fornicate chickens do fornicate guys your chicken will lay eggs even if she doesn't fornicate so you can eat them they're duds right but if she does fornicate then her eggs are fertilized for the whole year round for that year anyway before she fornicates again but he 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 hooks her up for all year that's kind of cool I love me some brown eggs but uh, I've had eggs and opened them up and there's a baby inside of them and that's that's depressing you think oh damn that used to happen a lot back in the day cause, you know I'm an older feller and back in the day you'd still get them from the grocery store like that not anymore 
You might find a yolk with some blood in it, but that it doesn't have anything that, that's not the, f the beginning formation of a baby chicken, I don't believe, because they're, they're kept, they're always kept in these separate little pens, and they don't keep any roosters. Baby roosters just are sent straight to the soup pot when they're like six weeks old or something, you know? They don't stick around. Or hell, they might give them a hormone to flip them into girls. When I was raising tilapia, I would, I would, this is, this is true. Look it up. Alright, when you're raising tilapia and you have a tank of tilapia, and that's where you start out your, your brood at, you feed them a hormone, a fish hormone, that flips all of the male tilapia female. It changes their sex. And then when they're about yay big, you stick them in your big tank, which or a swimming pool or your wherever you're raising them out at, and and there you go, you grow your tilapia. But that's about fish farming, and that's a whole nother video. Hell, I might talk about that later, or hell, I may not. Right now, I'm just enjoying the ride. I don't even remember coming this way, and I guess I came this way earlier. But for some reason, nothing looks familiar. Nope, nothing at all. Uh, eight and six. Yeah, if I remember seeing that sign, Fox Run. Uh, let's get on it. Let's put the grom, the power to the grom, and go, go, go. Woo! Boy, this grom is a fun little beast, and like I said once before, she is the wind beneath my wings. Woo. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Yep, that's what John Denver said just before he hit the mountain. Y'all know what happened to John Denver, right? He was flying drunk. Flying drunk. I remember when he died. It was a very sad day because we all loved John Denver back in the day. He was the guy that everybody just loved. He had great music, played a guitar nice, sung his little ass off. Apparently he had a drinking problem. But I would imagine from his facial features that he had Irish heritage. So he had the curse. The, Kyr the Irish are cursed. They're cursed with, not all of them of course, but they're cursed with the... the, the they feel and they see in a different way than a lot of people. And it's spiritual. You know, it's it's the things around us. And it's just a curse that they carry. Other other people have them too. I mean, like gypsies or, you know, if some, anybody can have these curses. But it's a curse that curses the, a, a large majority of Irish people. Hence, I think is part of the reason they have drinking problems because they see things that maybe people aren't used to seeing. If you see strange things or hear strange voices and you might think that you're you're you're, you're messed up. Uh-oh, look at the groundhog. Get your hell groundhog. You might think that you just messed up so you don't you know, you don't talk about it. You ain't going to tell your neighbor. So now that's another thing that people probably ain't gonna ever talk about. Hell, I better make another video separate on that whole issue. So people can say, you're fucking crazy. I might be fucking crazy, but you wake up tomorrow and start seeing dead people and tell me you won't need a drink. That's just how it works. You guys be sure and tune in to the next edition of As the Wheel Turns. I'm going to get back to the truck, and I'm going to load these babies up because I've got a load going to Seattle, and uh, I'm going to go pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up till tomorrow, but I am going to pick it up. Oh, look, nice curves. Oh, a 25-mile-an-hour curve. Make sure when you're ri riding the twisties, guys, you do not ride right on the yellow line. It's very dangerous. Don't ride too far over here either. But when you're coming around this corner, you'll have a tendency to, 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 to come outside to here. Stay more in the middle because you don't know what's coming around that corner. I've had campers come around that corner and be over that line so many times. And you don't want to have to jerk it, jerk it in. 
So remember, ride within your ability. Always be, be expanding your ability and be careful. And if you're riding in a group, still ride within your ability. Don't try to catch the people that are riding either faster or outside of their ability. Just ride. Ride to, ride to stay alive. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, look. This is another beautiful, beautiful... Whee! Oh, I love these twisties. I can't wait to ride to Panga Canyon. Break, break. Okay. Oh, look. I got too close to the yellow line. I, I broke my own rule. Oh, look. It's truck stop. Let's gear down one here. Whoop. Turn signal. Boom. Almost heaven. <laughs> West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River.